April SP tuning needs to step their game up. <laughs> my game up we gotta we gotta we gotta step, step the up, game up step up our game step the game up we ran 12 12 nine. Nine. what is he 60 foot one, one nine. nine and it's an all-wheel drive what crx with, what, turbo. with a what motor it's a turbo b series and we have an all-motor b series i don't need no turbo though it's 50 shot 50 shot see what it does better do it better than one nine one nine sixty i mean on our front wheel drives, we cut like what, one sixes, one sevens? My daily cuts a 2 0. Daily. My front daily wheel drive. My front wheel drive daily cuts a 2 0. I think the Nitrous Accord cut a one. No, I think the Nitrous Accord did a 2 0 too, but 2 0 as well. well right Same before us. Didn't I launch like a 1 8 on the Integra, no slicks? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Then I broke an axle second gear, but. Oh, when you raced the Juke. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You went all the five feet, but you right. did do a 1 8. <laughs> you got a 1 8. You did do a 1 8. I'll give you that. Oh, man. Uh, so I guess it's time to step the game up. So according to the tour so, guy or whatever. I mean, oh right, uh, Statics boy. I got the Integra slicks over here, and we got uh, Lee's radials. So this video isn't really directly, um, you know, pointed at Young know, Static. Nah, it's at his boy who said I have to step my game up. Yeah. What's yeah. good, bro? Yeah. The game has been stepped up. Where it's about to be. So, so you guys have gone to the track. You guys have tested it on the street. You guys have a tuner right there with you. I'm going to the track tomorrow. See how it works out for Ratchet Fridays. I'm trying to see if these guys will go, but so no far, tuner. So far, they don't want to come. No tuner. No tuner. Haven't launched the car yet on two step or anything. No extra driver mods. Tweet. <laughs> Tweet. I mean, I feel like I drive pretty I'm decent. Kidding. No, you're doing a good job. <laughs> you're doing a good job. Uh, let's see how it does. But right now, we're going to throw the slicks and the radios on the back. Uh, slicks on the front, radios on the back. These are very close tire size. The radials come up to be like a 24 point three, something like that. 24.3. The slicks are 24.5 inflated. So roughly they're about the same with the all wheel drive on these. You really need to keep the same ratio for the rear to the front because like the diff ratios or whatever engineering, I don't know, it's too fancy stuff, but I think it's close enough that we should be okay. So uh, we're going to put them on and see how they fit. Do some test hits mm -hmm. in front of FMG. From Man Garage. Yeah, yeah. With Daytona up. Hi, crackheads. Hi, <laughs> crackheads! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, we weren't able to put the wheels on because of the lug nuts. I have some at home that I can put on. Right now, we're at this uh, speed shop around here in town. We can get my bottle filled and one of Shane's bottles filled. So uh, we're about to do that right now. Then I can go home and actually see what I can do about testing these wheels on. Get some quick gas. Just pulled up to O'Reilly's a couple minutes later. Shane went over to work right here. And I have to pick up some VR1 because I'm do, gonna do the oil change today right before the track. And uh, yeah, probably get a Honda oil filter later as well. And get the car all prepped for, you know, some abuse of the track tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so a couple hours later, I'm finally back home. Now I'm able to put the wheels onto the car itself. I actually just drove up from Daytona, super uncomfortable with the slicks. The both radials, two bottles of nitrous, my laptop, tools, a whole bunch of stuff in the car. So it was really uncomfortable, but we made it. Uh, the reason that we couldn't put it, the wheels on in Daytona, let me show you. I'll flip the camera. These specific wheels, which are actually the ones that I got the car with, my buddy Lee bought them off of me. Um, so he's letting us borrow them right now because they have the triple R8s for the rear. Unfortunately, you have to use a certain type of lug nut so it can clear the wheel itself, which is like this tuner style lug nut. But my rear has the extended ARP studs. So what we had to do was uh, cut the top of the acorn and make it open end. This is what was on the car before. So this didn't fit uh, those wheels at all. These fit fine right there, but these wouldn't fit in right there because they were too wide to fit a socket over it. 
So long story short, we got that all squared away. I had some uh, an extra set laying around and I cut the tops off of them just with like a little grinder or a cutting, cutting wheel. And uh, now I got that on, just gotta put the other side on. And then for the front, the slicks, they should be pretty easy to put on. Uh, for the Integra and the CRX, I need to run these spacers since it's the 10 inch wheel instead of the nine inch, just so it can clear like the uh, spindle itself. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna put my phone on charge because it's almost dead. I'm gonna finish putting these wheels on and then show you the final stance of how it sits with all four different wheels. All right, so the rear fits pretty decent. The front, I had an issue. Uh, so not only the bumper's touching, but that's not an issue. We can cut the bumper. Uh, over here, we have to run the spacer, like I said, because it hits the spindle. If not, since it's such a, a wide wheel, I don't have extended studs in the front, which I really should have done once I had the spindles off and I put the new bearings, but whatever. I don't have them. I only get three full turns on the lug nut. I can tighten it. It'll probably work, but that's very little, you know, contact of threads onto the studs itself. I don't feel too comfortable doing that and I'd rather be safe with it. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the radials back off, just put the street tires back on. It kind of sucks because we really wanted to do the radials and the, the slicks because you can hook a, a much better 60 with the slicks, obviously. But at least it'll give us kind of like a baseline with the tires, the street tires to see what it kind of does. And uh, I really like the idea of doing this from like a 22 to a 24 and a half inch tire because I can actually, you know, have better RPMs, you know, I'll have a longer gear since it's a longer, uh, since it's a taller tire instead of those, the gears are super short, but whatever, we'll, we'll save that for the next time. Uh, I think right now I'm just going to put the regular tires back on and get it ready for tomorrow night. All right, so skip forward another couple hours once again. I know this vlog has been kind of all over the place. I've got my trailer back home. I have the CRX loaded onto the trailer. It's like 11 o'clock at night, so I use the, the winch to get it on. Um, so don't wake people up. Here, let me turn on the light. It's like super dark right now, so you can barely see, but it's on the trailer. It's not strapped down yet because I had to put it on at a weird, weird angle. So this wheel is all on one side, and this one is almost off right there. So tomorrow in the morning, I'm going to move the car a little bit off to the side and uh, strap it down all correctly. Then uh, in other news, I picked up these slicks, which my buddy Alvin is letting me borrow them for the night. They're 15 by sevens, so they should clear the spindles no problem. And it's a 15 inch, 24 and a half by eight slick. So these should be perfect to fit onto the front. I just aired them up right now. Um, I should be able to put those in the front right there and then have the triple R8s in the back. I'm gonna take that set just in case. Uh, I'm not 100% sure exactly how we're gonna play everything out since I'm not sure how busy the event's gonna be. But what I wanna do is do like a base run with the street tires and then do a secondary run with like the radials and the slicks and see if it helps or if it does worse or see how the all-wheel drive acts on the track. Really gotta fix this bumper. I gotta trim it a little bit right there and put it on the correct spot. But anyways, um, that is set right there. I have to make a tool bag right now for tomorrow morning. Got to get um, a few things put together. Basically, whenever I go to the track, I try to take uh, basic essential tools, like your standard 10, 12, 14, 17, 19, uh, sometimes 13 or half inch. I take them in wrenches, a half inch and three eighths sockets, as well as breaker bars and whatnot. I always take my uh, jack with me. Sometimes I take an extra couple set of axles. I'm gonna see if I have any extra axles around here and if I do, I'll take some. Um, and then I have an extra half shaft that I can take. Um, an extra trailer tire, of course, just in case we have a trailer problem. Um, maybe some brakes parts cleaner, a little extra oil always, just in case you have an oil leak or uh, transmission leak or anything you need to change on the spot. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna change the oil right before we head out. Um, that should be pretty much it. Take a couple rags, maybe a couple gloves. I just like to, you know, be prepared for whatever the night can send to us. Obviously, two bottles of freshly filled nitrous. Those are ready to go. I won't be taking these big slicks, obviously, the ones that uh, came off the Integra because of the problems that we were seeing earlier. I do have to test fit. Um, actually, I'll grab the grinder right now so I remember for the morning. I do have to test fit the... Uh, slicks onto the the car itself with how the bumper fits because i might have to trim a little bit for the 24 and a half depends how much it comes out I'll, I'll have to see in the morning uh yeah so basically sums up the video for tonight hope you guys have a great night we'll see you in the next one thanks for tuning in and peace